An exhibition at a Lower East Side Art Gallery features artists working with the nonprofit Artistic Noise. Their mission is to encourage creativity from teens and young adults who have been incarcerated, homeless, and have faced other challenges. The results, by all accounts, are inspiring and amazing. And here, the artists and organizers tell their stories through their work. It's like amazing to see everything up here. It's really finished and it's really done. My name is Sky, and I'm a young artist with Artistic Noise. Just to really see it up there in the gallery, it's crazy. Really empowering. Yeah, definitely mind blowing. Hey, I'm Bishop alumni and artist in residence at Artistic Noise. I'm Imani, a young artist at Artistic Noise. It's like looking at myself, like a reflection of myself and what I've created. And then you saw Sky's self portrait. Yes. Oh, this is incredible. Artistic Noise is a 22 year old organization that works with system impacted young people to connect them with art, art making, and therapeutic experiences. My name is Calder Zwicky. I'm the executive director of Artistic Noise. We use the term system impacted to refer to young people whose lives have been touched by the juvenile court system, but also the foster care system, the shelter system, probationary system, mental health care systems, and more. I was a bad teen. I was getting into a lot of things, and I got caught up with the system. I was getting in trouble. I was getting in a lot of trouble, and Artistic Noise came to me and reached out to me in my time of need and really helped me out. They don't just help you with just making art. It's not just for art. But if you have outside things that you want to like talk about or going through, they help you with those things too. It helps your art immensely. So what sets Artistic Noise apart from other organizations similar to ours is that we pay every single participant for every hour that they're working with us in the art studio. We also, at the end of the year, at our end of year show, take all of the artwork that was created over the past 12 months, we put it on display to the public, and when people buy the artwork, 100% of the proceeds go directly to the young artists who created them. They give you like a sense of family, a sense of motivation, an open space just to be yourself no matter what, who you are. Right now, the Art and Entrepreneurship Program meets three times a week in our Harlem storefront studio. Overall, Artistic Noise has collaborated with thousands of young artists, all of whom are system engaged or system impacted, and we've sold thousands and thousands of dollars worth of art on their behalf. Most galleries only show work by artists who have kind of already started their careers, but I think it's so important to show art by people in all different stages of their career, and it's all important. And especially, I think, when you're showing the art of, of really young people, I think it deserves to be shown in a space like an art gallery. How powerful the work is, it's at the level of, of the other artists that I've shown. Hi, my name's Hannah Trare, and I'm the founder and director of Hannah Trare Gallery. Talking to you know, these amazing artists makes me so emotional, and that's what art is and should be. You should have a visceral reaction. You should have an emotional reaction when you're looking at art, or else what's the point? I came to Artistic Noise in 2019, and I'm still here in 2023, so <laughs> they gave me a lot. I've always wanted to be a true artist, and look, here I am. My work is in a gallery with 12 of my other peers. You know, It's a beautiful thing inspires me a lot to keep going. It worked this time, it went well this time. So it's like, I have to try again. I can't stop now, you know? I have to try, try again. Well, I'm gonna be doing it for life, so I don't, I don't really know where it's gonna take me, but I hope somewhere positive though, because it's taking me far. The negative impact of having a court-involved criminal record can be so detrimental to young people who've made very minor mistakes that if we can do anything to kind of break that cycle through art and therapeutic experiences, I think we're making the city a better place. Artistic Noise is on view at the Hannah Traure Gallery at 150 Orchard Street through July 1st. And we have information on our website at cbsnewyork.com. Amazing way to channel energy. It is. And focus, too.